from Sabrina's Cafe, and he's going to tell us more about the dish that he is serving tonight. Kenny, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So tell us more about your dish. So this is a uh, house-made potato locket that we made fresh this morning. We have a uh, Atlantic salmon that we cured for three days. We have some pickled uh, shallots and then some microgreens on top, and it's dressed with a, a little sour cream aioli. As soon as we are done this segment, I'm going to take one because it looks so delicious. I'm here with Ben from Chew Noodle Bar. So Ben, tell us a little bit more. We have a uh, crispy fish spring roll with uh, smoked wasabi aioli. It's like a nice little bite of food. Yeah, it looks amazing and I'm definitely a fan of spring rolls. So I will definitely like this dish. <laughs> Definitely, most people do. So I'm here with Jeannie from the Little Pop Shop of Philadelphia. So excited to talk to Jeannie again. So great to see you. So tell me more about your variety of popsicles that you have tonight. So tonight I brought six flavors. Um, I brought chocolate with salted caramel brownie, mango chili, spicy, a green tea with mochi, Vietnamese iced coffee, which we made together. The coconut hibiscus and a raspberry lime. Bistro Laminette. We call ourselves Bistro. So we're the only French bistro in Philadelphia, true French style bistro. One final explanation of your dish, which we are all very excited about. So we're making a profiterole uh, puff pastry uh, with foie gras mousse, uh, cherry puree, uh, cocoa nibs, which are dry roasted cocoa bean pieces, um, and a little micro arugula as a garnish. I'm with Quintice with Mr. D's Water Ice, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about how she got involved with Achievability. Well, we got involved with Achievability through Edible Delights. Um, we are a branch off of his catering service. We offer water ice, and um, we give a fun family atmosphere with our cotton candy, our popcorn, our can um, candy station. So just something fun and sweet. So I'm here with David Sims of Edible Delights, and... And tell me more about your offerings. It's a little bit different than the last time I saw you. It definitely is. I'm excited to be a part of the Achievability event this evening. It's a great organization. And this evening we're fe featuring a Mexican fiesta. We've got a chorizo, black bean, and corn salsa. We've got a linguine with a clam sauce. And we've also got beans and rice. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you have a line. If you want to just pan over and look at this line, that speaks volumes. That's always. I'm here with Dan Sullivan from Alice Pina. Tell us more about the bite that you've prepared. All right, so we got a baguette formed with Munich-style malt from Deer Creek, which is right next to us. On top of that, we have a roasted bone marrow, which we prepare with rosemary and thyme. We whip it a little bit to aerate it and get a nice fluffy texture out of it. So it's super local, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We got involved with them a couple events ago and, you know, just getting everything from It's great. Tell me more about your dish. Uh, today we're doing a warm up biscuit. Uh, we have mushroom gravy, some spring vegetables, and then we brought 12 month Newsom's Kentucky ham, and we're hands it to her. It looks absolutely amazing. It's lava beans and peas and a little asparagus, so it's spring has sprung here. John from Detry, tell me more about your dish and uh, what people should expect. All right, so basically uh, the rotolo is something we do at the restaurants, usually with mortadella and pistachio pesto, but for this I did something vegetarian. Basically what I did is I took the Italian eggplant caponata and kind of deconstructed it and put it back together in a rotolo. So the eggplant with a little ricotta inside the rolled dough. On top is the rest of the caponata, which is pine nuts, raisins, onions, celery, a little red wine vinegar, and then some nice extra virgin olive oil. Topped with a little bit of fennel frond for a little uh, freshness, and there you have it. That's about it. Melanie and Will, thank you for coming to Achievability. You guys having a good time? Yes. Excellent time. What was your favorite food that you tried? 
Beast, was there anything that kind of stood out to you? Oh, the foie gras. Bistro? Minya, yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah, it was also my favorite. I couldn't think of what it was, but she nailed it. So then she confirmed it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kenny is awesome. Have you guys been to Achievability Food for Thought before? Is this your first time? This is my fourth time coming, and it's such a great event. I love coming to it every year. I look forward to it. This is my first time, and I definitely will come back next year. Excellent. Well, thank you for supporting. Thank you for coming, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys next year.